All right, got that fixed. They've got nice fresh water in there now. And let's take stock. Who is over in the woods? Maeve, just you? Are you Maeve? You might be Morgana. Sometimes hard to tell the two of you apart. That looks more like a Maeve posture. Oh yeah, let me let me turn the water off. And how many hens do I got? I got four here. I got two there. I got one there. Yep, that's the right amount. Hi. Did you just realize you were far away from everyone? Nope, she got away. Did, did you catch that, Victoria? Did you catch how she just said no? You gotta do that too sometimes. Oh, you're way down there? All right. They're perhaps getting a little too comfortable with the area. One, three, five, six, seven. Yep. All right, can you, uh, you I, I get that you're for thirsty, but I just filled your water. Yeah, I just filled it though. You've got a, you got a whole thing of water. I filled your water, that's what. <clears throat> Here, I'll even put some water in this thing. Yeah, I mean, at least drink it out of that instead, okay? Seems like a lot. I'm just saying, it seems like a lot of work to be drinking it as it drips from there. All right, you know what I got to do? I got to start picking it up in, in the evening to make sure that it's not almost empty. That's probably what you were squawking about earlier, isn't it? No, because I came out and I checked and you still had water. So the water hasn't been gone for that long. Anyway, let's check in with Beth, who's all the way down here by herself. <clears throat> Beth, you're a pretty brave hen. I was kind of thinking that I wanted one where it was more obvious whether it was full or not. And then I'm like, I think I'd prefer a metal one over plastic.
Maybe that was the wrong call. Are you just eating bugs straight out of the air? Oh, I see you're eating little grubbies. Little grubbies. All the rest of them are currently up by the house, drinking water. Yeah, you wanna come on down? You can bring all the ladies down too. I think he was squawking at a robin that just flew in. Flew by. Letting it know that this is chicken territory. As long as I'm out here, I'm going to remember that there's something over here that looks like a rock. But I don't think I have a rock over here. Hi, you staying with me? And it seems to be whatever this is. Piece of paper. All right. Beth, you are just off on your own today. You seem to be making DeLorean a little nervous. Hi. You want to come out, work your way back to the rest of the flock? That'd be good with me. I want to throw this piece of paper out. Yeah, there we go. I came out earlier and yeah see the problem is every time you do that you take out a couple of their feathers we can see who his, who his favorite is right you girls over here are getting antsy should I let you out for a bit? You probably need to stretch your wings, don't you? All right. I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna give these chickens a bit more time outside and then I'll let the chicks out. 
It's going to be interesting when the chicks join the chickens in another four weeks or so. Because a lot of the time I'll come out when the sun is getting close to down. And uh, all the chickens will be in the coop. The chicks are still out, but the chickens are all in the coop. And I think what happens is DeLorean decides it's time for everybody to roost for the night and sends them all inside. But the chicks are in a different run, so he doesn't really have any control over them. Yeah, look at you. Look at you and the gorgeous sunset light, huh? <laughs> what a beautiful rooster you are. So anyway, my theory is, is that they're going to be the rebellious teenagers when they finally join the main flock, because they're going to say, no, we don't want to go to bed, and DeLorean is going to insist that they do so. I expect that to be pretty amusing. Oh good, you figured out that there was water in there again. All right. Now I'm going to turn the video off. We're going to say goodbye, chickens. Probably by the time I was going to stop anyway. Bye-bye. <laughs>